morning. Today, hopefully, is going to be really interesting. I've been looking forward to it for, um, for the last week or so since I knew I was going to do it. I'm meeting one of my subscribers today, uh, somebody that uh, who been in touch with me. We've had a brief conversation, enough for me to know that we've got very similar interests. What I love about these videos is that it's not just about those common interests. You never know what you're going to find out about somebody when you meet them up for the first time. So um, with kind of positive apprehension, I'm on my way to meet um, a chap called Mark today. You told me before that you've um, you had a smart car. You were one of the first people yeah. to get a smart car. So tell me about it again. What, how did that come about? And it was around the time when company cars were becoming the, uh, less tax, less less good for you tax wise. Yeah. And the, and the taxation had gone up quite a lot. So I thought, how can I get to Camberley economically? And also, you know, why should we be driving huge, great vehicles down our very narrow motorways? Yeah. We, we're an island. We don't have the possibility of expanding the world to six lanes like we do in America. So driving yourself 70 miles there and 70 miles back, you would look for something that's economical, but also that doesn't take up a whole load of road space. And so I chose the smart diesel which had only just been, I had to import, it was an import, you couldn't buy them in the in right. so it was an import. And uh, that gave me 93 per gallon. Amazing. Which is really, really good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, really good economy. I bet you love telling everyone that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good, good figure, isn't it? Yeah. And um, yeah, it was a fantastic car. So, yeah. so that's kind of... Your history, you've always had this interest in gadgets, cars, something yeah. a bit different, a bit After new. the smart car, I, I, I got one of the first uh, Priuses. Yeah. In the, I mean, it, it was one of my things was to have a, the new models as soon as they came out. Yeah. I just was earning really good money and it was just my thing. You know? yeah. The economy was very good. I mean, 50 to 60 to the gallon. So you were seeing that? Because I know a lot of people talk about the economy being quite poor on the Prius. It depends how you drive them. Yeah. I think As with everything. It's the same with everything. If you drive them in a certain fashion, you're only going to get 30 to the gallon. Yeah, definitely. So I had, I had the first one of those, and then I, I bought a subsequent one um, later after, after going to various models. Um, and I had one for eight years. I mean, really, really, yeah. really good car. Really good car. And then my son got his first Leaf. And, um, oh, so he got a Leaf before you? Yeah. At that time, I, I had changed my Prius to the new smart car. So I wanted a much, much smaller car, so that's why I went down to the smart, because I thought that's the smallest car I can put by. Yeah. It's not going to be so big in the road. If somebody's having to overtake somebody uh, that's parked, yeah. they're not going to invade my, my space yeah. so much. So, but I think this was around the time I was going to combat stress that uh, they, they improved my um, thinking so that I could drive a slightly larger car. Yeah. And I swapped it in for a 24 kilowatt. And there <laughs> began your yeah. electric vehicle journey. Second hand, Mark. Do you know what, Mark? I'm really conscious, really noisy in it. I'm really interested in the, yeah. well, the we next up. bit. So, um, yeah, if it's all right, we'll, yeah, go we'll, we'll talk about yeah, yeah, your yeah. Um, leaf history <laughs> uh, somewhere else, if that's all right. After having to leave that coffee shop uh, a bit abruptly because of the noise, we come back to where Mark lives. And um, before we even speak about his car, he's just been showing me his garage, solar panels on the roof, and, um, a zappy charger. Yeah, no, this is fantastic. I have to say, £500, which is the same cost as a pod point or a Polar, and you get just so much more for your money. It's a fantastic little display. Shows you precisely what you've got coming in from the solar, what the house is using, what's going to the grid, or what's going to your car. Three modes, totally configurable, amazing product. And this is talking to the solar panels and the Tesla batteries eventually, which is at the moment, and the mains. And um, speaking of technology of evolving, uh, you've just had your power walls installed. Yes, I'm so, <laughs> so thrilled about this. These beauties. It's amazing. Are, are just amazing. Um, these are Tesla Powerwall 2s. Mm -hmm. So I think they're 16 and a half kilowatts each. 
um, of which I might be able to draw 14 to 15 kilowatts from them. Um, this is the gateway which will eventually go up here somewhere which communicates to the app yeah. and the app, like the Zappy screen, it shows me absolutely everything. Cause, yeah, I'm very jealous because that for me is the ultimate, being able to run your car and your house from a solar panel yeah. on the roof yeah. um, and then you know, in the most efficient way in that uh, when the sun's out, it's storing, it knows that tomorrow the sun's going to be out so yeah. it, yeah. it leaves itself room, yeah. it just the technology, it, it blows me away, um, I'm so impressed with it. So um, anyway, we got a bit sidetracked there with um, yeah. other bits and pieces. Should we go back to the car? Go back to the car. <laughs> Come on. <Yeah. laughs> well, we've got back in your car now, and this is—I'll be honest. This is what I really am interested in. We've um, we've spoken about how you got to owning a Nissan Leaf, mm. and um, quite an interesting car history, really. And you obviously you are really interested in technology, moving yeah. things forward, and you know, electric vehicles have just come out of all of that. So uh, you went from uh, a second smart car. Yes. Into a 24 kilo, kilowatt hour leaf. That's quite correct, correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that obviously gave you the bug for Nissan. Yes. Well, I mean, it gave me the bug for um, electric motoring, mm -hmm. com complete as opposed to hybrid, which is what we had, I had before. Um, definitely it gave me that. And, and really, the, the, the choice is quite limited a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, and, and Nissan. When did they introduce 2011 2012 they introduced the japanese yes. version of the 24 kilowatt and i was very impressed by the people at nissan mm -hmm. um, i think the um the dealership that we have here is uh, is very people orientated and they're very forward thinking they the fact that they've employed somebody who is what, an ev specialist Absolutely. and you know i hear stories of people all over the country that say they'll go into a garage looking to buy an ev and nobody yeah. knows, uh, knows even what battery size no, isn't it, let no. alone any details about and I, it. I have found that, I have to say, I have because I've crossed the country um, and gone into Nissan dealerships in order to get a free charge. Yeah. Um, you, our, we, are, we, are, we are very lucky in terms of the personnel that we have at our local dealership yeah. because that's, they're not all the same. And no. I've been into a few and asked about, oh, when's this coming out? Or is this available? Oh, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know anything about that car. Yeah. It's almost like they're not going to sell very many of them, so they spend their educational time working on the diesels and the petrols. Yeah. So, OK, so you obviously uh, fell in love with the 24 kilowatt hour Leaf. Yeah, it, um, you enjoyed driving that. Why did you decide to change to this one? What was the... Well, I think primarily because I loved the, 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 the fact it was brand new and, yeah. and, and the new gadgetry on it. Of course. And um, um, I like the old look of the Leaf because it was a bit different and you could always see another one. But at the same time, I felt that Nissan hadn't got the design right to appeal to the general public. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pleased that Nissan have, have, have created this in the in the style of uh, the rest of their brand in, yeah. in, to some degree, because then everybody will think of it as an ordinary car. But the technology was, was a big draw. Also, I think the cruise control on the 24, which I used to use a lot, um, let me down because it didn't do the distance between the car and front. Yeah. But for me, that was a significant factor. I wanted the car to consider that a car is going slower for the car to slow down and for me not to have to concentrate yeah. quite so much while I was driving on cruise yeah. control. So this auto automation uh, is, is, is really big for me. So, OK, there's always two big questions that everybody asks about this new car. Um, let's start with the slightly lesser one. Uh, Pro Pilot, uh, one pedal driving with the e-pedal. Uh, how, how do you find all those things? Do you use well, them? Well, yeah, initially I did because obviously they were there and they were new and, oh, yeah, I've got mm -hmm. to be using that. So, I, you know, I drove, uh, as soon as I got the car, put the e-pedal on, I put the eco yeah. mode on and I'm thinking to myself, I'm doing the best for, for my use of the car. Um, I've had this now for uh, two months mm -hmm. and I've determined that actually they are not the best tools uh, for economy. The car actually um, is less economical using the e-pedal and less economical using the eco button. The e-pedal is an amazingly good system. It mm -hmm. certainly uh, is much more relaxing to drive. What, what it did teach me in using that is how to drive without it. So I now drive with no e-pedal, but I don't hardly ever use my brake. Right. So it taught me to um, 
look slightly further yes. forward, look for the red lights ahead, Anticipate. look for the cars that are slowing down, mm -hmm. slow down and leave a, a gap. So try not to allow the car ever to come to a halt. Um, I use the Pro Pilot the minute I get onto the A31. Mm -hmm. Um, because Which is a dual carriageway. Exactly, it's a big dual carriageway. It goes 16 miles to the motorway. Yeah. It's a one direction, you can't go off it. Yeah. Pro Pilot, absolutely superb. So the other big question that everybody asks is um, yeah. charging. Okay. Have you had rapid charging yeah. with it overheating or do you, do you do that? Do you do enough mileage in a day to come across that? I have not rapid charged it. Um, only when, I, when it's been down to Westover has it been rapid charged. Yeah. So I have not had to rapid charge it multiple times. Looks like your power wall yeah, install power was turned wall up. Power here. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's let them get Try on with that. Out. Well, obviously we left your house in a hurry because um, we were just getting in the way and you need that power wall installed. Oh, yeah, that uh, nice, yeah. That's very exciting. So um, all that's really left is to thank you. Um, I've had a really enjoyable day and learnt loads. And there's loads more that we've spoken about, um, which uh, I'm going to try and incorporate into other videos. And um, well, I hope we will. We'll meet up again and um, we'll certainly talk about other things. Um, but for now, um, Mark, thank you ever so much. I thank really, you, Mark. really appreciate it. I've had a lovely day. Yeah, um, I've learnt yeah. so many new things. And um, as I say, we'll do some more follow ups and I will speak more about some of the stuff you've told me. Uh, one of the things we haven't spoken about, and I was hoping we'd have time today. Um, the fact that you are an army veteran mm. uh, and that uh, you have, uh, over the years, realised that there's lots of doors open to you as far as getting uh, discounts and Absolutely. by way of thanks, really, for either serving for your country um, or in an emergency service uh, or if you still are doing it. Yeah. So um, I will put some bits and pieces in the description. Uh, some of the things you've told me. But again, uh, as time goes on, we'll talk about those in, in more depth and um, hopefully that will help some people out because yeah. um, I think that's really important. That's what I want so, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. So, um, yeah, thanks ever so much for the day. I've thoroughly enjoyed it and um, look forward to meeting up again sometime. Brilliant. Thank Brilliant. you. Thanks, Ryan. I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed today. Uh, Mark was a really interesting person. And um, whilst most of it was about his Nissan Leaf and his history around it and um, his uh, solar panels and Tesla power walls and all the rest of it, Actually, there was so much else that we spoke about, which um, he's just a very, very interesting person. So uh, hopefully we'll, at some point in the future, we'll get to see him again and um, we'll find out a bit more about him. But um, for today, hopefully uh, what comes across in the video uh, is as interesting to you as it was to me talking to him in person. Uh, I hope I do him the justice of that. But um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, remember to uh, like and share it. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon. Take care.